So we are talking about the formulas and functions in Microsoft Excel. And this Microsoft Excel may be 2003, 2007, or you can say 2013, or latest 2016. All these, the, these are considered to be a spreadsheet program. Spreadsheet program. So the distinguishing feature of a spreadsheet program like this Excel is that it allows you to create mathematical formulas and execute functions. So we'll be talking about the formulas and functions, how they are used. Uh, otherwise, it is not uh, much more than a large table displaying text. You can just say it is a table. You have rows and columns. What is the distingu distinguishing feature? And uh, you may recall that uh, your spreadsheet environment uh, will become a dynamic and responsive work environment when you use these formulas and functions and uh, they automatically or thereby automatically updating when you change data somewhere and we will consider when we create this spreadsheet which terms are data numbers that we are going to type what terms are data or numbers that we'll, we will calculate and which numbers are constant and are to be used in variety of calculations? What arrangements of the columns, these columns and rows will make it easiest for you and your intended audience to work with the spreadsheet, right? So how we can start with this spreadsheet? Why this Excel we are learning? So Excel is a this is a very great tool to use for data collection and entry, and even for use for some a derivation of other columns uh, but this excel is not the best tool to use to conduct say advanced analysis uh, especially the statistical analysis okay so it is not uh, for that and uh, there are certain things which you can use like uh, spss tata r and sas so let, uh, let us go ahead and uh, Try to tell you that formulas and functions, the ability to perform calculation in one is one of the purposes of using this spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel. And we will see the examples of calculation like the totals, the subtotals, like the average, the standard deviation, etc. And in Excel, the calculation can be specified using either a formula or a function. So what are these formulas and functions? Uh, before we actually go to the Microsoft Excel, let me tell you that formulas, these are these are self-defined, these are self-defined instruction for performing calculation. And this function, in contrast, they are these are predefined, predefined formulas that come with Excel. So in either case, all these formulas and functions are entered in a cell and uh, it will all begin with the is equal to sign. So how are you going to enter the formulas? Okay. After the equal sign, the formula includes the, the address of the cell whose value will be manipulated with a appropriate operands placed in between. So the operands are the standard arithmetic operators. Okay. So let us, uh, before I go ahead, let me tell you that for the, there are various uh, operators which are available. You can use this plus for addition, minus for subtraction, uh, this star for multiplication, this forward slash for division, and then this sign, this sign for exponents. Right? So let us uh, go to the Excel, and whichever Excel you have, I'm sure that you're going to do it or perform this computation, which I'm going to tell you, like this. So just write uh, Excel, Microsoft Excel. Okay, Microsoft Excel you, you can use or you can just write Excel also. If you are with 10, you can easily open like this. Excel 2016 I am using, but uh, even if you are with 20, 2003, don't worry about that. Okay, so Microsoft Excel is currently your default program for viewing and editing spreadsheet do you want to select file types that excel should open okay you say yes 
Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, there's a blank workbook. If you can uh, view here, this is a blank workbook. Just open it. So now, this is these are your rows 1 to 24 you, you are able to see and from A to say but it is up to S but after that also we have a long list okay long list long list here I'll tell you the highest number as we go along but before that our concentration is basically on the functions and formulas we are not uh, trying to learn each and every aspect of Excel. I am sure that you are aware of that. So we just enter certain information into say a blank worksheet. Don't worry about the formatting at all. Okay. Uh, say in some column A and B and C. Say some rows are also there like uh, let us take some example that you write costs here. You can write directly here or you can use this area to write the values and say this is your fall this is your spring I'm just giving an example you can take anyone so this is say tuition this is housing say this is books say this is spending okay and this is your total cost so TC so just uh, enter some amount of your choice say 1000 say okay use it here also 1000 say it's uh, 500 it's 500 say this is uh, 800 this is 700 this is say 200 and this is 300 I'm just inputting some random amount I'm not worried about the credential of this amount my idea is to learn how we are going to add them and to perform the actual action. So the most logical solution for the question which I am posing right now that we have entered certain value in A, B, C these are the columns and 1 to 6 these are the rows or 1 to 5 rather. We need to calculate the total cost for the fall semester this one and using using say a formula to add up the individual cost like the tuition or say housing books and spending how are you going to do that and the most logical solution would be just to type uh, is equal to b2 plus b3 plus b4 plus b5 like you will say that I'm going to perform this like this as we have learned so it will be is equal to b2 plus b3 plus b4 plus b5 and will assign it to B6 so all value will come okay how are you going to do this and uh, you can also enter formula by using the point mode you can either click on a cell with uh, your mouse left mouse button, button or you can use the arrow key so to enter this B1 this B2 to B5 B2 B3 B4 B5 into B6 uh, using this point we just have to left, left click on the cell B6 this is just uh, left click on this B6 you just have to type is equal to here you just have to type is equal to and then use the up arrow key to move to B5 up arrow key B5 okay or you can left click on cell B5 also and just type plus just type plus okay and use the again the up arrow or mouse to add cell before like this before then add b3 add b2 this is what we wanted isn't it b2 plus b3 plus b4 plus b5 and just after you have done with this press enter and you, here is the amount how easy it was you know this is the way we are going to do it and this is the way you should do it and you notice that the calculation executes immediately after the formula is typed into the cell and entered by pressing either the enter or a tab key 
or just by clicking the check mark in the formula bar. So the result of the calculation is seen in B6 and the formula itself is now visible in the formula bar as you can see here. You can see the formula also. Okay, this is the formula. You type, you place your cursor or mouse here, or here the formula is there. What happens if you enter B2 plus B3 plus B4 plus B5 without the leading edge is equal to in this B6? What would happen? All formulas and functions must begin with is equal to. So the text of the formula or function will be displayed in the cell if you do not use is equal to. If you just say is equal to or remove is equal to, it will just be a test. It will just be a text, nothing else. You have to use is equal to to actually go for the calculation. And then why use cell reference like cell addresses B2, B2 or say C5 uh, in formulas instead of the actual values of the cells? The answer is automatic calculation. And let us illustrate the concept of automatic calculation with one more uh, instance. So let's uh, make a change in the costs. Cost of the say fall or spring semester so spreadsheet and note how we are going to recap this Excel is going to recalculate the formulas and functions we have already entered. We'll change the enter amount say to some other amount and see how this the cell will automatically change. Right? Uh, first let me let me do it for this also. So what I have to do is say is equal to okay and then just C5 say plus 700 plus 500 plus and 1000 this is C2 so just enter 25 25 okay now I'm going to change the value and you see that these are the value being computed by the formula which we have just used and if I change the value from say 500 to say again 300 what is going to happen? The amount will automatically change. This is what we wanted. And this is the beauty of automatic calculation. So in automatic calculation, Excel automatically recalculates the result of any formulas, SL entries change. Automatic calculation also applies to the functions, so which we will be covering in the uh, later stage. So you can check the or check more, make more automatic calculation than it is on. So you, have, you can have these various options here like the tools from you have this option button and uh, you can just make this automatic calculation on okay uh, how are you going to do, do that let me tell you for that you have to just see the calculation part so you have to go to the formulas and this is the calculation tab and see in the calculation options the automatic is all already ticked so that is why we are getting the automatic calculation. Sometime you wouldn't, or you do, uh, you will not want everything to be automatically calculated. For that, you have to go here and just say that I don't want automatic, automatic except for data tables or say manual, right? Now this was a very simple example, and now I'll tell you about the uh, second part that is the functions. So entering functions. So function differ from regular formula in that after the equal sign, you supply the cell addresses but not the arithmetic operators. Functions, they perform calculation by using specific values which are called arguments. So in a particular order, which is called the syntax. When using a function, you need to remember that use an equal sign to begin the function first of all, specify the function name, enclose all the function arguments within the parentheses, Use a comma to separate the function individual arguments. So what I have just told, let us do. So in the cost, this cost uh, for the fall and spring semester spreadsheet, we will calculate the average cost of tuition for the fall and spring semester using the average function. How you are going to do that? And the most logical solution would be to use this D2, say D2. What we are going to do here is say is equal to, then we'll write average. See, it is already coming average, and if I 
don't give anything it will be taken as some not a number type of thing so what i have to do is is equal to then average a v e r a g e this one i have taken this and then i have to place the values here this is this only a v a a v e r so i have to make it average then only there'll be so there'll be a proper formula otherwise it will give some no name kind of stuff then what i have to do is the equal sign begins the function average is the name of the function v2 and c2 are the are the arguments the first argument is our v2 and then second argument is our c2 right and just you have to say this and say enter see 100 well 1000 plus 1000 by 2 is 1000 only so the average value a parenthesis which is enclosing all the argument and the comma which separates the argument has given us the value which is average of b2 and c2 and uh, you can do it for any of these we are just taking it for tuition so if you have reference operators also so reference operator they refer to a cell or a group of cell uh, so there are two main types of reference operators first is the range and then you have the union so what is the range what do we mean by range when we got talk about reference operators range refers to all of the cells between the between and including the reference so it consists of two cell addresses separated by a colon for example a1 colon a3 what it is going to give a1 to a3 means we are talking about these three these three cells uh, a1 to c3 so from a1 to c3 means this one all this a1 to a3 is this a1 to c3 is complete this so a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 and c1 c2 c3 and what about union so union includes two or more references uh, it consists of two or more cell addresses which are separated by a comma for example you have a7 b8 or c9 say you have a7 and uh, say b8 say this one and you can have c9 these three one two three so these are union this refers to certain um, values say if you say uh, a7 then b8 colon d9 and then you say e4 so this is nothing but what i'm trying to speak is a7 comma b8 d9 so this is b8 and d9 so all these and then say e4 so you can take this e4 this one so uh, in the previous uh, questions or previous uh, hands on we have just taken this away b2 c2 but uh, we could have used a range reference like this so it was what b2 comma c2 you could you could have used b2 and colon b2 colon c2 and that means it would have given the same result or not so this was b2 colon c2 just make it c2 make it n and say enter so so similar value this way also you can write and then the auto sum what do you mean by auto sum you can use the auto sum icon uh, in the standard toolbar which is given which automatically adds the contents of the cluster of adjacent cells you can have to just select the um, uh, that the that the uh, sum will appear because you have to select the cell that the sum is going to appear in that in outside the cluster of those cells whose value will be added and then you just have to do the auto sum just click the auto sum button uh, just highlight the group of cells that will be sum and just press the enter key on the keyboard or click the green you if you find it a check mark on the formula bar okay let me tell you what what i have spoken let, let us do it so in the say in the cost of for the fall and spring semester uh, this spreadsheet we calculate the total cost of the spring semester using the auto sum we have not done this so let me delete it no for now so there is no total cost of spring let me give you the idea how you are going to compute it using the auto sum click on the cell 6 to activate it 
then you have to use the auto sum this is auto sum just click this auto sum highlight cells c2 to c5 because they are already highlighted okay if they are not then you have to highlight this and just press enter your work is done see how this auto sum can be used if i use this for computing these how you are going to do this select this and say auto sum okay just select this say auto sum it will select all these values and you have to just say this one and this one this one i am pressing shift i am also pressing shift this is how you can get the value you can just take any any void or blank cell say auto sum and just select the cells you want to add okay let me delete it because this was just for demonstration purpose this was action okay this uh, was very important as far as the computation is concerned now we turn our notice to the function wizard so you can access all the available functions in excel using the function wizard what you are going to do is you can select the cell where the function will be placed and just click the function wizard button on the standard toolbar whichever excel you are using and there are other ways also of starting the function wizard uh, you can select the function from the insert drop down click on the drop down arrow which is next to the say auto sum okay uh, icon button and uh, you must first see the commonly used function in excel and uh, at the bottom of the menu the there are more functions also so there are so many things which are which you can do here this is just not just one there are other functions also these are all functions which are available so you will first see the commonly used uh, functions as you just saw at the bottom of the menu and more functions options so clicking on the more functions you will give it will give an alphabetical and categorical listing of all the available functions in the excel so from the paste function dialog box just browse through the function by clicking the function category menu on the left and select from the function name choices on the right and uh, as each function name is highlighted a description and example of use is provided below these two boxes and just click okay to select the function okay so that you can learn about it so let us uh, do the uh, hands on now so in this uh, cost for the say fall or sprint in this spreadsheet we need to calculate say for housing housing of the fall and spring and now here we use the function wizard and the average function say we just click on this d3 to activate it we activate the function wizard where you are going to find the function wizard so if you are using 2003-2007 you, you have to open that but now because 2013 and 2016 we can go to formulas directly and here we have recently used in this recently used i have just used this average and uh, i can use it directly or if you are interested you can go to more functions and as i just said we have plenty of functions here which which we can easily use and depending upon which type of functions you need say time and date and time say statistical say database all this you can use so let us find out the average once again and we will use this uh, recently used average and then you have to give the uh, number this average of which number which numbers so this is it has taken d2 already this means it has taken this d2 already 100 but we are not interested in this we, this, we are interested in b3 and c3 okay so just go here and you can just type b3 say enter and now number 2 is your c3 okay these two b3 to c3 c3 say enter okay 500 plus 300 by 2 that is 800 by 2 is 400 so what we have done we have used the formula here or say function wizard average function wizard not formula function wizard to find out the value okay now you can also have a function instead of a formula so function can be more efficient way of performing mathematical operations than formulas and specifically in many cases a function will uh, simplify formulas that you can type in manually such as say average or sum 
So if you want to add the value, say, from some one d1 to d10 or d1 to some n value, you could type the formula like d1 plus d2 plus d3 till d10, or the shorter way would be to use the sum function, or just simply sum d1 to d10. Okay? How are you going to do that? Because it's quite simple. Uh, say, I have uh, these two. These are less numbers. Let me add these three, just for the sake of the example. So I, I just go here. I say is equal to. Then I say sum. I take the bracket. And then I say B2 to D2. B2, C2, D2. So I say B2. And then what you can do is, either you can say, because these, these, these are added. B1 to B6, they are automatically added. But for these three, you have to give B2, comma, then C2, comma, and then your D2. This way you will do. But what I am trying to suggest here is, I will just say control Z because I am not going to tell you this. Main thing is, when you have number of values here, I want to add all these. So what I am going to do is, I will say here, because it is going to take the values already and I'm just not saying that there are only few numbers there can be hundreds of number here so the best way is I want to find out the minimum now let us say is equal to bracket oh first the name so I'll use the minimum min and then I'll say the from where to where b2 colon to b6 Enter and which one is the minimum? 200. So this is directly you can use. You can you can also use a function called today to return the current date. You can use square root, SQRT, min for minimum, max or maximum, average. Some we have already seen. Okay. So this is uh, the um, simple discussion of how you are going to enter the formula, and we'll be talking about copying formulas, functions, and cell references shortly. Till then, thank you so much. Take care of yourself.